Hello friends, welcome to another video. Today's video is going to be a cozy fall bookstore vlog, which I'm very excited about. I haven't been to the bookstore, or at least I haven't posted a vlog in a while, about a month. So I'm excited to take you guys along. The fall vibes are perfect. It's like 35 degrees out and I'm wearing a cozy sweater and I've got, I broke out my Uggs today. I'll show you those in a second. And I've got a nice coffee and it's a pumpkin spice latte and it's delicious. So, so far this day's going good. I'm trying to think if there's any books I'm looking for. I think I might want to get The Final Gambit by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. That's the last book in the Inheritance Games trilogy and I want to do a reading vlog for that so I think I may just pick that one up while I'm there and maybe Finlay Donovan is killing it that kind of seems like a good one now that like today it's October 29th so I'm like kind of want to ease off the spooky books and kind of get more into some cozy November reads if that makes sense like, I'm planning on reading The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue in November because that just seems like it will have cozy atmospheric descriptions and I think that's what I'm looking for mainly. Also, towards the end of November, I will want to start picking up some Christmas reads. So I'll see if they have any ones that catch my eye today. Oh, I also want to get In Five Years by Rebecca Sur Searle. Surly, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but that's another one I've had my eye on and my sister said it's good for winter So I think that one would also be a good one, but other than that, I will just see Where the day takes me and just like what sticks out to me and of course like I said I'm taking you all along and I think we'll also go to Target and See if they have some good books and yeah, that's that's the plan so let me show you my shoes real quick. So here are my shoes. They're just like cozy off-brand boots and I try to keep them as nice as possible. I never wear them out when it's raining just so they stay as nice as possible. And yeah, I got them for I think two years ago. Um, my, my sister or my mom got them for me from Kohl's and they were only like $20. So yeah, I guess if I did want to get them messed up it would be fine because they were only $20 but I usually just try to keep them nice as long as possible but yeah that's the plan I hope you guys are ready for a cozy fall vlog and I will see you when we're driving there
back and I'm going to do a little haul of the four books I got. I got some good ones today and I'm very excited about all of these and let's just get into it. So first at Barnes & Noble I got Tokyo Ever After by Emiko Jean. I've heard that this is really good and I am excited to read it. I'm going to read you the back. It isn't easy being Japanese American in her small, mostly white, northern California town. Izumi or Izzy, because it's easier this way, has always felt it's been her and her mom against the world. But then she discovers a clue to her previously unknown father's identity. And he's none other than the crown prince of Japan, which means outspoken, irreverent Izzy is literally a princess. In a whirlwind, Izumi travels to Japan to meet the father she's never known and discover the country she's always dreamed of. But being a princess isn't all ball gowns and tiaras. There are conniving cousins, a hungry press, a scowling but handsome bodyguard who just might be her soulmate and thousands of years of tradition and customs to learn practically overnight. Izumi soon finds herself caught between worlds and between versions of herself. Will Izumi crumble under the weight of the crown or will she live out her fairy tale happily ever after? So this is a YA book and I've been really craving a good YA book recently. Um, kind of like the Summer of Broken Rules vibes if you've read that. And I don't think this one will be like summery but I'm hoping it gives me that same feeling if you know what I mean. And I believe this is, it's either a duology or a trilogy. So there will be a lot to look forward to in this one. Next I got In Five Years. This was the one I mentioned earlier that I wanted to get and my sister recommended this and she said she loved it. So I'm going to read you the back of this one. It says, Danny Cohen lives her life by the numbers. She is nothing like her lifelong best friend, the wild, whimsical, believes in fate Bella. Danny's meticulous planning seems to have paid off after she nails the most important job interview of her career and accepts her boyfriend's marriage proposal in one foul swoop, falling asleep completely content. But when she awakens, she's suddenly in a different apartment with a different ring on her finger and beside a very different man. Danny spends exactly one hour, five years in the future before she wakes again in her own home on the brink of midnight. And it is one hour she cannot shake. In five years is an unforgettable love story, but is not the one you're expecting. So I'm very excited about this one. I loved One Italian Summer by this author. I thought that one was really amazing. And I think this one takes place in New York. And if it has any of the same descriptions that she had in One Italian Summer, it will be very great. So excited about this one. If you've read it, let me know. I think this is a more popular one. So if you've read it, let me know what you think of it. Next, uh, this one's from Target. It's All I Want for Christmas by Maggie Knox. And I read The Holiday Spot by her last year. And I thought it was very cute. So of course I had to pick up this one. And yeah, just the cutest cover. The Christmas vibes look perfect. Let me read the back. When Sadie and Max are selected as contestants on the famed reality singing show, Star Maker each thinks they've finally gotten their big Nashville break. But then they are paired up for a duet week and stun the world with their romantic onstage chemistry. With fans going wild for hashtag sexy, <laughs> their network demands that they remain a duo on and off stage or exit the competition. Baking a relationship until their final performance in the Star Maker holiday special shouldn't be too hard, except for one small problem. Sadie and Max can't stand each other, but with their dreams just within reach, they agree to the ruse. Will their fake relationship be exposed before they can win, or might their phony connection turn real by the Christmas finale? So, I get that these types of books are cheesy, but they're like perfect for that holiday feel I'm going for. Like, it will just be perfect at the end of November or December to just get me in that holiday spirit. So. Yeah, very excited to pick this one up. And last, the final gambit. I got this one at Meyer. I wasn't for sure I was going to find it. I was like, I'm not going to get it at Barnes & Noble just because I was like, $18. I was just like, I don't know. And then I was like, I definitely thought it would be at Target. And it was, but it was in a box set. So then I was just like, I can't buy a box set because I already have the Inheritance Games and the Hawthorne Legacy. So then I was like, you know, let's just go to Meyer and see if they have it. And they did. So this is the third book in the Inheritance Games trilogy, which is pretty popular right now. And it's basically about Avery. She gets an inheritance from a random man. I don't think she knows him. Then basically 
the boys in the family are trying to figure out why this random girl got their inheritance. So uh, basically it follows that premise and it's a three book trilogy like I've said and so yeah this is the last book and I believe I'm going to do a reading vlog so let me know if you'd like to see that. And yeah that's going to be it for this vlog and haul. I hope you all enjoyed it. Let me know if you've read any of these and like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and want to see more from me and I hope you have a great rest of your day.